Huh. However will I wield this? Puppy. I can see the future! What's up everyone? As you can see, we're back down in Blight Town. I'm going to show you a couple things. Uh, okay, once my light readjusts on the screen. Uh, right over across that way, actually pretty near the, uh, the fucking bonfire, there's a woman if you come here with um, your pyromancer glove upgraded to 10 or higher she'll be there and she can teach you more pyromancy and then I'll show you some more stuff here um, for one I'll show you where the illusionary wall is so well, you can find the other um, bonfire down here so the next time you come you won't have to uh, actually we take this off since I'm not moving through swamp water anymore let's see It's much better. Cool. Now I'm not just burning through fucking stamina. Because I think the last time I was up here, I actually thought that the illusionary wall was in here somewhere, but I was wrong. It's literally just below the second bell that we ring here. Just take these stairs down. And it's right here. And you're going to talk to this guy because he's blocking the way. You basically have to join a covenant to get in here. And there's this girl who, you know, she can't talk. Um, she's another one of the fire keepers, I believe. But either way, so that's how you get down here. And now we're going to move forward into a, uh, into a boss fight. That's what we're going to do. What I want to do. Yeah, I can still move just as well. So now we go down here. Another bonfire. Just activate that. might be doing this wrong because you can barely see the tentacles of the boss that I need to get to or that I'm trying to get to I should say uh, no. actually maybe that is the way over to him let's see Do, 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 Let's go through here. And you know what? Since this will take us a little minute to get up there, I'm going to tell you guys a little story. So, the other night, our power goes out because of this, you know, storm that rolled through, and I guess it hit a bunch of different places. Um, yeah, it was like 7 o'clock at night, you know, I had, you know, just finished recording on my previous episodes, gotten them edited and uploaded, and then, um, you know, I figure, you know, whatever, I'll wait half hour to an hour, see if it'll come back on. 
So that's what I did. Waited an hour to an hour. Didn't come back on. So I was like, fuck it. And I just went to bed, passed out, woke up at like 2 in the morning. Power's still out. I have no fucking... Everything's dead. Um, you know, so... Whatever, the morning comes. It's probably 9.30, 10 o'clock. And I decide, you know what? I'm hungry as fuck. I should go somewhere, get some breakfast, get some coffee. You know, pick something up for a little bit of everyone. At first I was figuring, you know, maybe McDonald's. Because, you know, everyone else likes McDonald's. But then I'm like, well, shit, they're on our side of town. So our power grid is out. So I'm like, fuck it, I'll go to Burger King because that's in, that's on a different power grid on, you know, different side of town. So go there, power's on. First thing I do is order the coffees. And then, you know, because that's like the most important thing of the morning is coffee. Then, okay, so we got to get this boss fight triggered. That's how it works. Anyways, so. Oh, shit. fucking go there and the main thing I go for which is coffee is pretty much the thing that they're out of <laughs> like I, I start pouring the coffee I get maybe half a cup's worth and it's gone so I let them know and they're like oh sorry about that you know they get the coffee refilled whatever and get the food oh shit cause right now what I'm trying to do so I'm trying to aggro him to get over here because we can basically get a quick kill on him. If it works, it works. And there it is. Cool. Dual wield. Come on. There we go. Because his left arm is extremely weak, so. Running back to the fog gate after you get that activated is the quickest way to kill him. And then that'll get rid of the lava blocking your path. Which is good. But we're not going to be proceeding through this part of the game just yet. There's actually another boss fight I want to do first. I figure I want to get this... This next box fight I honestly just want to get out of the way because it's... In my opinion, the most heartbreaking boss fight that there is. But, um... Yeah, so either way, that's how you kill this guy. Oh yeah, anyways, that's what I was saying, so, you know, whatever, go get the food, and I saw them put the new pot of coffee out there, the new canister or whatever, like I told you. So go to f finish pouring the coffee, and <laughs> as it turns out, it was empty, it was just hot water, they forgot to put the filter in there. So I'm like, you know, this is like the one thing I came here for, and you don't have any co why are you guys chasing me I'm part of the covenant I'm part of your brotherhood yo you wanna fight okay but I mean ah oh, shit forgot about the maggots whatever just outrun them cause I think they just die out although I could be wrong Oh shit, dude. Okay. Okay. See, I hate these fuckers. Like, they don't do a lot of damage to you, but they just move so awkwardly. Okay, okay. There we go. It's two. I think you're the last one. Cool. 
And the the other ones don't even care. They're just sitting there going like, "Hey, how's it going?" Like whatever. Oh, okay, but as I was saying about the whole Burger King, Burger King thing, like you know, I suppose like everyone was with all power. So I mean, they must have just been so swamped that they didn't realize that they were out of coffee because you know, as I was pulling in there. Like, I went inside, I didn't even bother with the drive through because A, it was getting filled up, and B, fucking, you know, they had their truck pull in, so that way they could pull in new supplies and stuff. And this location only has one way in, one way out. It's like this little frontage road. And, you know, it's, it, it's just one little frontage road. It's your way in, it's your way out, that's it. You know, so it's kind of a cramped little spot. So I'm like, I'm not going to sit here and deal with the drive through It's just not worth it. So, I mean, people have been in and out there all morning because of the same thing. <clears throat> so, let's see. Before I go on with that. Let's see. Do I not have... Okay, this must be the closest one to Dark Root Basin or whatever. Okay, whatever. So, yeah, it, it was just a crazy day. And then I'm thinking to myself, after I get home, like, this is just going to be one of those days, you know? And then fucking, as soon as I say that, because I just finished eating and I just whatever as soon as I say that you know power comes back on and all that and I'm like dude I've been up since two o'clock in the morning <laughs> sweating my balls off cuz you know no way see nothing so I don't know it was just one of those crazy days but either way so I'm gonna gear it up for the next part of the episode here and I'll see you guys in a minute Alright guys, now, <clears throat> I'm back, um, I probably won't even put in the previous clip because it was only a few seconds long, but, alright, so down in Darker Garden, I already got the NPCs out of the way, <clears throat> and as it turns out, if you already abandon this covenant before you start cheesing the NPCs and killing them here, um... Yeah, uh, the cat lady doesn't actually freak out. She actually offers you to join re or rejoin the Covenant. So, I just thought that was a little interesting. Anyways, um, while I was out having my cigarette, there was actually a uh, very interesting clip on the news um, about a black dude who got shot and killed by a police officer and... You know, usually I don't dig into this, you know, whole police brutality topic. Not because I don't believe it doesn't exist, but, you know, it's... It, I let the news handle it, you know, I, it's not kind of something that I would usually cover because it's not... <sighs> What's the word I'm... Okay, well, either way, I will end up talking about this situation because in this situation the man was actually a legal registered gun owner with his conceal and carry and you know I will dig into this on another video I'm not going to get into this on this video I usually do these sort of rants while I'm playing um, you know something like Call of Duty or another miscellaneous game such as uh, Battlefield Either way, guys, we're going to go into my most heartbreaking boss fight in just about all of the Souls games. Alright, so here we go. Let's see. Uh, he sh I think it's once I touch the sword. is once it activates. Yep, here we go. Huh, 
However will I wield this? Puppy? And the reason that this boss just breaks my heart is one, he's not even necessarily evil. Like... The reason he's so protective is because he doesn't want you or anyone else to follow oh shit the same path of evil that his previous owner took so that's why he's guarding the way he is oh shit oh, okay can't see but you know it's just it's a very sad story once you actually dig into it but um you actually end up meeting the previous owner who was, you know, one of the original heroes. Um, if you have the DLC, which I don't. Okay. Doggy, you need to calm down, boy. Come on. I don't even want to do this. Like, I can't focus on this boss like I can with other bosses because my sentiments, they're just, there's too many sentimentals. And he's not necessarily a hard boss to fight. I mean, yeah, he's got that wide range, that sweep. But other than that, I mean, you can... Uh, they give you a lot of room here to move around as well, so... It's not nearly as hard as you would anticipate. And the sadder part is, and it should start happening here soon... And that is, once his health starts getting low, he'll actually start limping, and, you know, it's just... Okay. Yeah, he's starting to get a bit more aggressive, a little bit more desperate, because he's low on life, or getting there. It's kind of emotional. Yeah, now he's just kind of, you know, slowed down and, yeah, this is just sad. Let's just finish him off. Alright, there we go. Down boy. Covered. So, that's that. I think the closest bonfire back would be the one just before uh, the cat lady. Alright guys, so I'm going to end this episode off here. Hope you enjoyed it. You know, um, I don't know if I'm going to be doing Borderlands today. In fact, I might actually discontinue that playthrough. Um, don't get me wrong, I love Borderlands and I'll probably keep playing it on my own downtime. But, for recording purposes, it's kind of more of an, a hassle or an inconvenience because I don't like to record more than 20 minutes. I mean, I like to keep that as my average. I mean, granted, there will still be times where an episode will end up longer than that, but your average mission on Borderlands is going to take you about a half hour or so. So, I don't know if I'll continue playing that or if I'll, you know, use it as kind of a miscellaneous game when I go on rants or something like that. But, um, I will find another, um, series to replace it. So, I'll start digging through my games and see what else I got that I could play for you guys. Otherwise, my Hyniacs, I'm going to end this off. Uh, I love you guys and I'll see you later.